our previous videos, we looked at the layout of HSM, we created our first job, and we added the necessary tool paths to machine the top side of our part. In this video, we're going to look at how we turn these tool paths into code that our CNC machine understands. This is a process referred to as post-processing. We're going to begin by selecting the job and clicking post-process. From the post-process dialog, we can select the drop-down for the post configuration. Here we'll find a list of industry standard controls and machines that ship with HSM. I'm going to hit H on my keyboard to navigate to the machines that start with H, and I'll select the generic Haas post processor. So now we're going to be formatting code that suits the needs of a Haas CNC milling machine. I can go ahead and click Post, and I immediately get an error. This is error checking that the post processing system can do to let me know in the case of this post processor, we've identified that the program name needs to be a number and can't contain alpha characters. So we'll click OK and change our program name to 1234, a four digit number. We can now click Post, save our code, and the code opens in the HSM editor. If I navigate to the Backplot tab and activate the Backplot window, we can visualize the posted CNC code. So we've very quickly taken the theoretical toolpath from inside of the CAM software and created code that's formatted for our machine. Now I'd like to show you a few tricks for how we can make simple modifications to the posted code. So I'm going to tab back to SolidWorks and we're going to post our code out again. But I'd like to show you something else while we're doing that. So I'm simply going to select a single 2D adaptive operation instead of the job. What we'll find is that when one operation is selected, we're simply posting that operation and not our entire program. So with the operation selected, we'll click Post Process. What I'd like to draw your attention to now is the Properties area. In the Properties area, you'll find some switches that can make common edits to your post processor that change the outputted code. A few things we should draw our attention to is the preload tool option. So if you have a machine that has a swing arm style tool changer, then you'd like to call the next tool you're going to use and preload that. Another option you may use is show sequence numbers. Currently it's set to yes, so we're going to see line numbers as we did in the last program we posted. If I set that to no, it's going to remove the sequence numbers. If I move down to use G187 and set this to yes, we're now telling the post processor to put the Haas machine in the optimal mode that balances quality and performance for our high speed roughing strategies. So I've changed that to yes. What you should notice when we're making these changes is they changed from black to blue. This is because this setting has now become sticky, so instead of using our factory defaults, anytime we use the Haas post processor, we're now going to use these new user preferences. And we can see which ones we've changed from the defaults. One last option I'm going to turn on here is use parametric feeds. I'll set that to yes. We're going to post the code, and this time we'll save it as 1235. So here we see our new posted program. We no longer have block numbers. We can see our feed rates being posted out as parameters that are then called later in the program. So this makes it very easy for an operator to change the cutting feed rate or the entry feed rate without needing to repost the program or dive through the code. We can also see the G187 line that's putting the machine into the correct roughing mode. So with that, you should now understand how to post-process your CNC code, how to post-process individual operations, and how we can easily make simple formatting changes to the posted code to meet your specific needs. If you'd like to dive deeper into editing post processors, I suggest you join the discussion on the Autodesk CAM forum. With that, I hope this short video series has helped you understand the HSM product and you can begin creating toolpaths on your machine.